on one hand, he's saying that nobody would ever speak this way. So because it's written like this, it means that God is telling us that we all fell to the earth from heaven. And he's speaking that the earth, as it's used here, Why would you is put a planet. This they fell from heaven it's either to the one earth or the other. as fallen angels. And not that they had just fallen to the dirt Are you worried soil, about like what would happen off if a you were to fall of off of a horse? I mean, why is JJ even... <coughs> Excuse me. It's uh, questionable. And um, you wonder why you would put controversy out there like that. Um, you know, there's a battle within the, uh, the churches about flat earth and everything. I wonder what you believe and if you would answer that, um, answer the question, do you believe in flat earth? Explain it yourself. Also Don't be lazy. But after they do exactly what you say, and they start to research something, Lord forbid again. Two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night, and the stars. And God set them in the expanse of the heavens to give light on the earth. I wonder why you're not using the, the King James here. Normally you use the King James in your, in your, uh, um, deliveries but for this one you used expanse because flat earthers like to say that the firmament is the glass dome and if you use the king james you can't say that because it says the firmament is the heaven which divided the waters i hope you can help me out with this gene because i have to find this out from you one way or another and it's the reason why I asked before, what do you believe? Do you believe in the Trinity that was forced by Constantine? Do you believe in the removal of the second commandment? Do you believe that Sunday is the day of worship over and above Isaiah 58, 13? If you turn away the, your feet away from the Sabbath and I'm not not saying you don't do good work. You you, can, you do fantastic entertainment, um, and fantastic at destroying Jonathan. But if you destroy Jonathan, you destroy all that teaching that goes with it. And this is what I gotta be, be careful about. So I don't want to destroy Jonathan. He's a good teacher if he got on the right path. So are you, if you got on, you know the wrong path hopefully your brothers that you know in Christ would help you out I'm just saying you know and and you know let me know in the uh, comments below if I if I'm out of my boundaries here or not um, because it is about salvation and the thing about flat earth is the flat earth is the vision of Jesus coming with his bride. And there will be a thousand years where people will be living on this bride of Jesus. And it'll be protected from all darkness. So it could have a glass dome over it, could have water over it, could have something over it. I don't know. But that's the flat earth, the thousand years. And if they, people believe that we're in the thousand years, then... You gotta believe that Jesus has already come and that will put everybody into a depression and uh, not want to uh, follow the word and protect themselves. So, and this is my concern about this and keep up the good work, Gene. I just uh, got a little confused on these presentations of yours. I wonder if you can help me out there.